It's a great day in South Carolina. This is Karen with Xana Demuse, and welcome to my channel. And you're bouncing. I don't like this new phone. Well, I, it's all right. I don't hate it. It doesn't have the um, voice activation video, so I have to manually touch the button, and it makes you go boinga, boinga, boinga. And let me adjust you. <laughs> all right. Housekeeping. Oh man, I forgot something. Don't go anywhere. I'm back and you're bouncing again because of the finger. This finger. Anyway, let's get into why I'm making this video. Happy Eyes of March. Huh? Okay, if you guys don't know, the Eyes of whatever month it is, is the middle of the month, which Generally is the 15th, even though 15th is technically not the middle of the month when there's 31 days. But blah, 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 right. What makes the Ides of March special and why am I celebrating it? Huh. Julius Caesar was murdered by Bruno or Brutus or something. <laughs> I don't remember my history, Shakespeare, whatever. But he was murdered on, Julius Caesar was murdered on... March 15th. I know that is so weird. I just like those little weird things. As the description applies, I'm going to share some of my Valentine's little projects. One was a fail. One was a success. And then we're going to do a giveaway because I promised on a video, which I never uploaded, I was going to do two giveaways on the Ides of March. So, even though I never uploaded the video, I'm going to keep that promise. I have less than 20 minutes to do it before it is March 16th. So, we better get to it, right? Okay. I'm going to show you the fails first. I like to go to my sister's house. I used to live at that house. So, I have a key to that house. And leave little goodies for the nephews and nieces by secret something. So, it could be secret elf, secret Santa, because one time I mixed up. <laughs> Um, secret Cupid, secret, secret Leprechaun, the Secret Bunny, you get the drift, right? The Secret Witch. <laughs> anyway, my sister went and got sick, so they all stayed home. Oh, the reason why this is easy to do is because when I get off of work, she goes to work. And all the kids go with her because she owns a dance studio, and they go dancing. They did not have any green bags at the Dollar Tree, so I thought I'd make my own. And I thought I'd be all fancy smancy and use that marbling technique with the shaving cream. Wah, wah, didn't work. It looks like hot mess. Look at this. Isn't that awful looking? It just it looks like green throw up. It's just a bag of, like, um, St. Patrick's Day goodies. There's some bracelets, some rings, some chocolate coins, some plastic plate coins. And the two smaller bat I mean, the two for the smaller kids. There's number two. There's three. The closest one that was a success was kind of this one. Ugh, but still. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. So, I didn't get to deliver it today. I know today is the 15th. And St. Patrick's Day is not today. And it's not tomorrow. But it's the last day before school. Let's out for the weekend, and one of the items was um, a headband and a scarf for the older girl, and she won't be able to wear it to school now. <sighs> boo hoo hoo. Okay. Next St. Patrick's Day, um, little crafty item. I've been trying to make a wreath for every season this year. I've already got some made in the past. Like I already have a Halloween. I already have a Thanksgiving. Or fall and I have several Christmas I think I have three Christmas but I'm going to definitely do redo the Halloween because I do not particularly like it because <laughs> it's not my style anymore it's more country-ish and I'm more a little not so country yeah I don't I'm I don't know what style I have but anyway this was how the um, Halloween w was done but without the mesh so yeah, here it is. And I glued the hat on. And unfortunately the hat, I can't shut the storm door with it. So I had to put actually put this on the storm door. 
And then I had this old bow, and since it was old, it was crinkled. Does anybody know how to get these crinklies out? It is like a plastic at the bottom, so I can't like iron it. So if you have a tip to get these creases out, I might just have to replace it next year when they sell them again because I missed the boat. I'm buying the bows for St. Patrick's Day this year. But basically, all this is is about two yards of fat fabric and different color mesh. mesh. And there is a tutorial on it that I have done, and I will put a link in the description box explaining that. Okay, giveaway time. I'm going to tell you the rules and what you need to do, and it's easy peasy, and then I'm going to show you what it is. There's two giveaways, by the way, two, 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 two. Leave a comment and subscribe. You have to do both. Yes, this is a begging for a subscription subscriber videos because you know YouTube stuck it to us. Said it in a like, nice, nice, nice way though. But they stuck it to us. Anyway, that's pretty much the, um, oh, has to be United States. Sorry, I can't afford shipping right now. I'm so broke. I had an issue with student loans. Anyway, enough about that. So, U.S. only. Leave a comment, and you have to um, be a subscriber. And there are two. They're two different, totally different styles. Oh, I lied. There was one more rule. There has to be at least 15 people um, who um, participate in the giveaway. Because if there's only one person, I'm just not going. I'm not going to do it. Because I'm not going to send both of them to one person. So. Let's redo the rules because I'm not going to edit this video. Rule number one, leave a comment. Rule number two, subscribe. Rule number three, you have to be a United in the United States. We're going to sneak rule number four in. You have to be 18 or older. I don't know how to check that, but you do. <clears throat> Excuse my coughing. What was rule number five? Oh my gosh. Oh, yep, there has to be more than 15 participants in each giveaway. You can be in both giveaways, and you count as one is one and one is the other, but if you win one, you don't win the second one, okay? So, here's what the comment is. What Here's what you need to do for the comments. You either say both, because you want to be in both, or you want to be in the crochet knitting, or you want to be in the um, coloring book. If you say both, put in your preference one or two. Do you want to be? Do you want to win the coloring book one, or you want to win the <laughs> the crochet one? Because if you get pulled both times, you're going you're going to get the top one that you want. And then I'm going to pull again this for the next person. You got it. We'll go over it again. Leave a comment. The comment is either. Both knitting, crochet, doesn't matter which word you use, or coloring book. If you hit, if you select both, put your preference, which one you want. Say both prefer crochet, both prefer coloring. Just make sure you put the your um <coughs> your um uh, preference because if you don't, I'm going to pick the first one and I'm going to pull the repull the second. Because um, I don't know which order I'm going to go. So, leave a comment, subscribe, be a, um, live in the United States, be 18 years or, or older. Um, da -da -da -da. I always forget this one. Why do I always forget this one? Oh, you have to have more than 15 participants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is not limited to, because I might add one or two more things. Here is the crochet. This is something that's been in my stash a long time, and I just thought I'd throw it in just because I just recently found it. I was at my sister's house, which I just mentioned. I used to live there. Some of my stuff is still there because I was kicked out pretty quickly. Okay, I wasn't kicked out. I volunteered to let her have the house, and I wanted a smaller house. That house is way too big for me. I was picking up some of my stuff, and I found this. I've never used it, but you can see there is a little bit of doggy corner in it. It is the um, Easy Crochet Critters. 
And it's got 10 designs. And here they are. So that's the first thing you'll be getting. Oh, I will be mailing these medium mail because I'm poor and cheap. So please don't hate me for that. The second one, oh, that's, by the way, this is from Lion Brand Yarn, Lion Brand the Yarn, and Collegia Arts. <clears throat> the rest of the books came from the Dollar Tree. Will not lie to you. Easy hats. Um, easy knit hats. So this is for knitting. There you go. Um, six styles, endless possibilities. And it does not really say where it is from, but the book originally cost twelve dollars ninety nine cents. It was printed in nineteen um nineteen two thousand and twelve. Oh, craft side. I guess that's the name of the brand. The next one is knit cute and cuddly hats and booties. So this is another knitting. It's a kid one, baby one, hats and booties. And it is also by Craftside, and it was also $12.99, and here's the back. It's not very thick, but yes. Do, 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 do. I'm going to flip through the hats. I'll be happy to. Do, 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 do. And you want to see the critter one? I'll be happy to. La, 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 la. Here's the critter compared to this. This is thicker, but this is bigger. And the very least, I guess they're all knitting except for this crochet. The reason I say crochet, there is one more book, but I think my sister claimed hold of it. I have to ask her first. If she doesn't want it, it's yours. I'm not going to show it. It's going to be a surprise. Outrageously adorable dog knits. So, hope you have a puppy. It's by um, Race Point Publishing. It was originally $16.99. <laughs> it's much thicker than the others, but it's half a size, so all these cool little knits. <clears throat> I'm going to put you on hold because I've got a big old cough coming. I guess I really didn't put you on hold. You're bouncing again. I put you on pause, didn't I? <laughs> all right. Okay, here's the coloring books. This may be it, or there may be more. Depends on if I find something. Fun or extra cool to add into it. These are also for all from the Dollar Tree. These are super nice books. I have to admit, I got each one of these for myself. So, the, my mother's heart, my mother, my heart. This paper feels so good. <laughs> this feels like watercolor the cover, but it, the paper inside doesn't. It's very smooth, and these are double sided. But they have like wallpaper patterns and stuff. But this is pretty darn good paper. It's it's much it's much thicker than that Benton stuff. But it, yes, it's very nice coloring book. And does it have a price? It is covered up. Um, let me see if I can pause you. This time I got it right. Hey, you like that? Second, so unfreeze and then freeze again because I accidentally hit the pause button twice. Anyway, this retailed for fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and I got it for a dollar. The next one is a life fashion through the ages, and it is single sided. And they're pretty nice looking pictures in there. And like I said, it's by life. Um, is there an artist on there? I don't see an artist named. Oh, yes. The artist is Sarah Brody. There it is. I like the ones that have artists on there because they're not um, clip art that they got on the internet or whatever. And there's some ideas on how to color it. Let's go back to the first one and see if there's an artist. Um, Ellery Fowler. Fowler. E L E R I. I guess that's how you pronounce Ellery. I'm Ellery the Eighth. I am Ellery the Eighth. I am. I am. That's not the song, but I know it isn't. <coughs> Cough break. Oh my gosh, guys, you're going to be bouncing back and forth, aren't you? 
The third coloring book in this giveaway is the Angels and Fairies. Did I tell you how much this one originally was? I did not. This one was originally $12.99. This one was originally $9.95. And it has Angels and Fairies, of course, and ideas on how to color it. Is there an artist on this one? I don't even see a cover page, really. Um, first published 2015, reprinted 2015. No, I don't see an artist, so they must have swiped these off of clip art websites or whatever. Yep. So this Angels and Fairies, originally $9.95. Here's the back. I think these are the other ones. Here's the back of the life. Here's the back of my heart and my mother. And the very last one, which cracks me up because for some unknown reason, I decided to look this up on Amazon. They had two copies. One was selling for $1,000. I'm not kidding. One, over $1,000. And the other one was selling for $90. And I, I left a review. So you might see my review. I'm like, don't bother. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get it for a dollar. Duh. But I'm not joking. They sold this book over $1,000. It's the Wuthering Heights coloring book. Um, the book, of course, was by El Emily Bronte. Of course, the coloring book is not drawn by her. I'm actually more of a her sister style. I prefer Jane Eyre, I have to say. It's a double day book for young readers. Why is it? Um... It was done in 2016, and it was illustrated by Elisabetta, I can't see her name, it's, it's right, oh, where is it, I'm going to right here, right there, sorry, right there, if you can see it, that's her name, and it was originally $15.99, don't pay a thousand. And this is a double sided book, also. I forgot to tell you if the fairies were or not. The fairies. But I'll check, you, check for you in a second if it's double sided or single sided. The fairies in Angels is. The color pages are double sided, but the coloring pages are single sided. So, yes, that is the coloring book portion of the giveaway and that was the knitting crochet portion of the giveaway and I have a feeling it's after midnight and the eyes of March is over and this is not going to be uploaded on the eyes of March bummer because it's already 20 minutes in almost 20 minutes into the video well I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share comment of course comment please <coughs> subscribe do all that jive. Until next time, stay calm and craft, shop, I don't know. Do you. And I'll do me. I know that doesn't sound right, but I'm going to give up. Have a good night, everybody, because it is nighttime.